Hey guys, CodyBolt3 here, and welcome to episode 13 of 1001 million in one month. And before we get started, if you want to buy or even sell some Ultimate Team coins, go check out fifutonline.com. They are a cheap and reliable service for buying your coins. So if you want to go check them out, a link to their website will be in the description below. Anyways, we get this episode started with some trading, and indeed, throughout this whole episode, all there is is trading, 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 trading. That's all I'm doing with my life right now is trading. I wake up, I trade. Well, I try to trade. It's very hard during the day. I go to sleep for a bit. I, I, it's, I, I wouldn't really call it sleep. I sleep for a couple hours, wake up, trade, relist my players, trade, relist my players, trade, eat, eat some more, trade, relist my players. I g get some sleep, trade, relist my players take a shit, relist my players and trade while I'm taking a shit. And yeah, pretty much my, all my life is consistent of for the last week or so is trading because I left myself an absolute mountain to climb by turning 300k into a million in the 10 days that I had left for this series, but I'm doing quite well. I picked up quite a few bargains in this little nighttime trading session that I had going. Picked these players up between about 2 a.m. GMT and 5 a.m. GMT. So uh, yeah, that's the time that I picked them up for. Anyways, Devayo gives a profit of 4,375 after tax. David Louise was sold on for 85,000, giving us a profit of 10,750. Uh, blind was sold for 85,000 and now I made a profit of 13,250 on him But there was only one other on the market and I had a hundred K by now on it So I said I'll list it for 15 K less hopefully it'll sell and it managed to sell so hey uh, Just my luck uh, because it was a team of the season silver player to wrapped gave us a profit of 3,500 and Balmont gave us a profit of just over 5k Tony Cruz gave us a profit of just under 5k and Boney was another big one giving us a profit of 11,850 and in total from the them seven players I made a profit of 53,699 coins oosh what an absolutely amazing trading session there and I don't know why I said oosh that was a bit cringy but anyways we're going to go into the watches and look at the next batch of players that we bought the first being Castro and you will see the rest of the players there anyways I picked these players up it would have been some during the morning after I had uh, done that night trading session so maybe between about 8 and 10 a.m. And then I picked up like one in the afternoon and then I picked up that Cavani and Team of the Season Falcao last night between, again, about 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. and around that time. And I got actually some pretty good deals on them players. So it was, was kind of scattered throughout the day. I was kind of busy yesterday, so I didn't do all that trading that I was uh, said I was doing. But I still did. I'd say a decent five or six hours maybe. Uh... Yeah, in and around that. But that there's a really interesting story behind this team of the season, Falco. And I made an absolute herp of dirt mistake with him. And I will explain in a little bit once we go through the prices that all these players sold for. And you will notice that when we do go in the trade pile, there is only four players there. And the person that is missing is team of the season, Falco. Anyways, we'll touch on that in a little bit. We sold Cavani on for 77k, giving us a profit of 11,150. Castro sold on for 55k, giving us a profit of 7k after tax. Mayuka sold sold on for 71,000 giving us a profit of 6,450 and finally Mickley sold on for 88k which I was very surprised at but hey he was the cheapest on the market at the time and that gives a profit of 13,600 anyways the reason why the team of the season Falco is in there is because I made the herp dirt mistake of clicking on him in the web app and not even realizing it and just went into the watches was continuously trading because I clicked him and I didn't realize that he had actually sold because I couldn't believe my eyes that he had sold for 499,000 he does go for in and around that between about 490 and 510 depending on the day I suppose and his price is starting to drop a little bit but you'll see there I tried to even show you my trade activity on the web app uh, if you look at the bottom side of that uh, little screenshot that I posted up there but it won't let me scroll any further down than that which is a bit annoying because it was just before that but uh, yeah I managed to make 55k profit off of Falcao now obviously <laughs> I don't really have the proof up there unfortunately you will have to take my word for it. I'll actually let you guys decide at this point in the series because I don't really mind trading because all I'm fucking doing with my time is trading anyways. So what's an extra 55k to me? If you want me to take the 55k out and just continue on along as normal as if that Falco never happened because I don't have proof of how much he sold for. Uh, you only have my word really. I will do that. I'll take the 55k out. 
or alternatively what I can do is I can just trade to 1,052,000 or 55,000 I don't know why I said 52,000 55,000 or I could do yeah just something like that Le leave a comment down below let me know what you want me to do or I could just trade to a million if you believe me guys anyways uh, I made a profit off all them players of 93,250 and a total profit in the episode of 146,949 but that is it for this episode guys I do hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and if you haven't already go subscribe to my channel and I'll see all you mofos next time in position Valdez sold on for 105,000 giving us a profit of 15,750 that is absolutely superb from one player Agar was the next player up who we sold for 44,750 and we made a profit of 8,013 coins off him Alibo was